What's up everybody? So if you watched my last video, you saw that I told you guys I'm going to try something local from the Miami area. And sure enough, as you guys saw in the intro there, I did. I'm going to go with Finca, uh, which is a combination of things. <laughs> So it's kind of like a Cuban, Asian, sort of everything fusion. Um, they have a lot of different foods that they combine with Latin foods. And it's really interesting, it's really fun. Uh, Liz and I actually went there when we first got married. This was like six years ago, five years ago. And we really, really loved it. Again, they, they have all sorts of weird things that you wouldn't think of, <laughs> but they actually work really, really well. And the pizza that you guys just saw is called the Baca Frita Pie. So I got to explain a few things here. So Baca Frita, if you don't know what that is, if you're not from Miami, that literally translates from Spanish to uh, fried cow. <laughs> That's literally how it translates, fried cow. Uh, but it's like a shredded beef. It's, it's marinated for several hours, then you know, they add all sorts of seasoning to it, all sorts of herbs and spices to it. It's just really delicious. If you want to try back a frita on your own um, and you're in the Miami area, that's the typical Cuban dish. It's really good. I highly recommend it, guys. So, um, yeah, go try it. But, uh, in the meantime, we gotta try this pizza, right? So it's not only baca frita pie, of course, it has a few other uh, ingredients that I listed right here. Of course, it has mozzarella, it's got caram caramelized onions, which is always a good thing. I don't know if you guys like onions or not, but for those of you that do, caramelized onions is the way to go. Uh, maduros. Okay, so maduros is fried plantains. If you guys have never tried a fr fried plantain, that's very, very sweet. That's what you're gonna be getting out of this. And that's really good on its own as well. Typical um, sort of uh, side on a Cuban dish. Also in a lot of other Hispanic foods, um, they do use maduros a lot, um, but it's really good, guys. If you haven't tried maduros, you need to try maduros. Fried plantains, trust me. So we got mozzarella, caramelized onions, maduros, cilantro aioli, aioli. I can never pronounce that. And I never fully understood what it was. To me, it's like a mayonnaise of some kind. And uh, I don't know. But, you know, it's good. So, uh, I mean, I don't know if it's good in this pizza, but I've tried aioli or aioli in the past, and it's always a good thing. And finally, fresh picked cilantro. Cilantro, 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 cilantro. Uh, I know that some people don't like cilantro because they say uh, it tastes like soap. So I apologize if you are one of those people. I actually really like cilantro. So let's give this a shot. Hold on guys, I gotta open my handy dandy Gatorade here because you know I can't have my food without my Gatorade. But let's check this out. Look, I kind of showed you guys earlier in the video, but take a quick look at that. Feast your eyes on that, Lassie. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. Yeah. That's good stuff, man. They're the real deal. No kidding. That's, you know, and, and again, I, I, I have full disclosure, like I told you guys before, I've been at this place before. Um, being, again, it's been a few years though. So I remember that it was really good, but that was what, like five, six years ago. So I didn't know what to expect. And I haven't tried this dish specifically before. So, hey man, Finca. You guys know how to do this right. Let me give it another shot. Okay. In the uh, first bite, there was so much flavor that I couldn't even figure out what I'm tasting. It was sort of all over the place. Um, but in a good way, it's like, oh my God, like this is amazing. Uh, here now that I've had my first bite and now I'm going on to my second bite here, trying to kind of figure out what I'm tasting, I can definitely take 
in the different flavors on their own. I like the Aoli. It's it can be a little bit overwhelming for some people. For me, it's actually perfect. There's not too much of it, nor too little. Uh, the Maduros, man, you know how the mozzarella can be can be salty, like savory. Um, vaca frita, of course, again, fried cow, which is like shredded beef that's marinated and seasoned. That's gonna be kind of savory as well. But the Maduro, man, that gives it such a good balance of sweetness. Oh. It's so good, guys. This one, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna give this a five out of five, guys. This is this is amazing. So if you ever uh, are in the Miami area and go over to Finca, definitely give the shot to the Baca Frita Pie. Again, that's, that's the Baca Frita Pie. Really, really good, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.